Okay, uh, thank you Colleen um, for agreeing to be interviewed today by me. Um, for my viewers out there, Colleen is uh, one of the top uh, person in her company, Party Light. Uh, she's a candle consultant, but not only that, she's also um, a regional um, leader. And I'm just um, intrigued on what is her secret uh, to achieve what she has achieved so far. And I just want to uh, know what's her lessons in life and how she actually uh, look after herself amongst other things as you know my mission is to support and inspire others to look after uh, themselves better and their relationship better uh, but in the meantime also would like to inspire you all by listening to her success story on how uh, she actually gets there so thank you Colleen how long have thank you been you a candle much. consultant um, I've been a consultant for eight years now, just yeah. over, which is pretty exciting. Oh, sweet. All right. And what did you do beforehand? Well, would you believe I was actually an electrician and um, I worked uh, in Sydney for a long, long time and then I worked in an abattoir as a young and then I worked in um, some mines. So, yeah, and I, I gave that up uh, five years ago now. Oh, wow. Yeah, to do party lights full time. Yeah, it's amazing. Uh, how how big of a jump from an electrician to a, <laughs> a it's, candle it's a consultant. It's really, I suppose from one light to another, isn't it? All right. <laughs> so you're on to the light. <laughs> and what made you uh, jump from being an electrician and mining industry, did you say? Oh, yeah. Well, it's the same, you know, breakdowns and, you know, working on shutdowns in the mines. Yeah. And, oh, yeah, repairing uh, tools and yeah. um, all those sort of things. Yeah. 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 It's cool. So why the big jump? Um, what, as in the jump to... From, uh, from electrician to a uh, candle lady. Well, it's funny because I started selling party light because I love the product. Yeah. And to pay for my tattoo habit on the side, you know, I just want to keep um, using my home, my wage to yeah. pay for something that my husband hasn't got any of. And um, then I started making this income, and I, I was like, yeah. oh my god, like you can actually make money from candles. And it was, it was sort of taking over. And I went from there to I was earning just as much money uh, working as an electrician as I could do as a um, candle lady. So I yeah. went right, oh, that's it. I'm going to yeah. do candles. I like it more. Yay. Fabulous. And what was um, the biggest lesson in business that you have learned so far? Oh, there's been a fair few, but I'd probably, I'd probably say uh, patience and understanding okay. um, is, is one of the biggest things. Um, but it's it's getting to know people and know that everybody's really different. Yeah. A lot of different personalities out there, and, and yeah. that's probably a big lesson, okay. really. Okay. So how do you pick, um, in terms of different personalities, just give one example. How, how do you pick uh, to deal with one particular um, personality to make it like smooth and they end up uh, um, with a good sale and good relationship long term? Because it's not just a one-off thing, isn't it? Yeah. No, I, I think you just have to treat everybody the same mm -hmm. um, and, and give everybody the same chances, but just always make people feel that they're important. I think that's a really big thing because they always say people won't remember what you said. It's just how you made them feel, and, and that's one thing that I believe I always make people feel that they're important to me. Yeah, amazing, amazing. And you're a leader in this company. Um, how many consultants do you have in your team or region? And um, as, yeah. as a um, senior regional vice president, I've got yeah. uh, at the moment, I only just looked up my count and it's uh, 223 as of wow. today. So in, that's in my uh, downline image. Yeah. So um, I don't look after every single one of those, but mm -hmm. I do, I am in contact with all of them because I do run uh, regional meetings as well. Yeah. And I also run um, team meetings every month. And I, I sort of touch base with a lot of those girls so and guys actually. Yeah. Yeah. Wonderful. Guys are the uh, rare finds in the candle industry, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. There's <laughs> a, we've only got, I think, three in our whole region. So, yeah, there's not very many. Okay. And um, how did you approach them differently uh, from the ladies to the gents? Well, 
Well, it's funny because I have, I've only ever recruited one guy, so yeah. um, and that was just through a friend. But uh, yeah. the other ones that have come on have been through my lineage. So, yeah. I, and I think it's just through friends, and they just love the product. And a lot of the times, that's why people join Party Light because they love that's the right. candles. As you can see, you've got them in your background. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I love them. Absolutely love them. <laughs> and how do you inspire your team? Um, I suppose um, how I inspire them. I suppose. I'm so excited about Party Light all the time and I, I really do love the products and I believe in them. And I think to inspire them, um, a lot of the times um, I'm very organised and I am a firm believer that as the leader goes, so does the team. So whenever there's a promotion on, I make sure I achieve it. Yeah. And um, I always use anything to do with trip I achieve, any sponsoring promotions, but I also send notes of recognition or I send little presents here and there and mm. even sometimes it's just a phone call to say wow you know you're awesome or you know just a little bit of recognition it goes a long way yeah yeah so acknowledge uh, the effort that your team um, has been putting yes yeah and I, I think when someone does something uh, pretty amazing I really go out there but even even our consistent achievers I always still mm. acknowledge those girls because you know I think um, a lot of people tend to just focus on the ones that are doing the big things when you should be yeah. looking after the ones that are still here doing any everything. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Because yeah. they hold the ship together a lot of the times. They're all our owls. Yeah. You know, I call them occasional working ladies and, and, you know, they're great. Yeah, right. And how do you inspire someone? Because um, the journey of business is up and down, up and down, mm -hmm. and when yes. you're... Um, downlines uh, feel down how do you lift them up well I suppose through obvious excitement and I I know it sounds crazy I have to I'll sometimes run a in-house promotions or um, I'll make sure that I'm actually out there meeting them and you know I sometimes dress up as sumo wrestler or a cowboy at my meetings and um, just I just be really crazy because somebody has to and, and I also do let them know it has been tough yeah. I never sugarcoat it. I always make sure that it's been tough and it has been tough for me, yeah. but we have to fight through things. And I think being open and honest makes a really big difference about where the business is so that if the team knows that you're struggling as well, then they're not feeling that bad. So it's really that's where the downs are. And when, yeah. when it's up, everybody's up, you know. So I think just keeping um, honest with your team and let them know that sometimes it's not always bright and shiny yeah we are you know you know peaks and troughs all the time so yeah I think oh. that's what inspires them to follow me as well yeah it's yeah. good to know that you are only human also yes it's <laughs> <laughs> not always easy I'll let me tell you <laughs> cool. and um, you're recognized as the number one seller in your company so I'm intrigued to know what is your number one secret ah well I suppose my number one secret is I is follow up. I always follow up, but in saying that, it's product knowledge and, and mm. to know what you're selling. Like we've got one catalog mm. to learn, and that's one thing I'm very passionate about. I know the product. Mm. Um, I think, and I'm actually out there talking to people about the business. I don't do a lot of work online. I don't because uh, I believe our products, people need to see them, feel them, and touch them. So that's where I focus. A lot of my business is on that. So, mm. and keeping in touch with people, that's that's probably where I do it. Okay, so follow up. And uh, yeah. online meeting uh, through Facebook or social media, is that what you mean? Yeah, yeah, I don't do a lot of <laughs> online parties and that sort of stuff. My okay. parties are all in-house. Oh, yeah. Um, and I, I use the phone a lot to talk right. to my customers and that's where I'm talking about follow up. Okay. So, and I'm always talking passionately yeah. because I know that a lot of people use online parties and everything at the moment, but mm. it actually doesn't get people to, to see and feel the product and experience mm. the party mm. effect. Yeah, especially is, when what you're selling is fragrance. I mean, how do you smell yes. uh, fragrances through online um, options? It's like buying, going and buying, you know, I'll go and buy some perfume online. Yeah. Like you get it and you go, oh, my God, that doesn't smell anything like I thought it would smell like. Like. <laughs> hello <laughs> so I mean you've got to be realistic don't you yeah right so it's interesting uh, your number one secret is the follow-up and phone call what about what will you say to someone that um, is hesitant in following up especially through phone call you know uh, people have different yeah. blocks I suppose, I suppose that now when I first started is 
I call it follow up now is because I've been doing part of like eight years. But when I first started, yeah, uh, the you know, the first started, I think the first year I did just over a hundred thousand dollars worth of candles personally. Yeah. Um, and I think amazing. what it was, my ex- yeah, my excitement was that I was telling everybody what I did. Uh-huh. So I said, I sell party light candles, and I asked everybody would they like to book a party. I wasn't afraid, I was proud of the business, yeah. So um, you know, it was passionate. So that's where it came from. Mm. So and collecting, I know, you know, there's a lot of girls out there. I do collect everybody's email address when I do mm. go to a, a candle party mm. and I put them in my database and mm. automatically party light email out mm. candle connections. So that's something that I don't have to do. So that actually helps my business and that's what I mean by follow-up. Mm. So that's where I'm saying in the follow-up, that's where it's come. So I've gone to a party, spoken yeah. about it, and then collected those email addresses and that's follow up because I can see what they've done and uh, they've opened up links and gone from there. Oh, cool. Wonderful. It's uh, lovely when you have a useful tool. Yes. It, well, I, I'd never done it before. I know I'm not a very technical person. So, um, yeah, it was quite uh, overwhelming at first. Like, <laughs> I had to download Skype today. <laughs> <laughs> I've never knew that. So that was... <laughs> there you go. Another tool in your toolbox. Yes, I've got it now. All yeah. right. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, what's the funniest story that happened during one of your candle parties? Uh, if you don't mind sharing it briefly. <laughs> I had a couple. Mm. Uh, I was only at a candle party on Friday night and I was telling the story about it because there was a lady there and she was leaning over the candle. And I said, I said, whatever you do, don't lean over candles. Yeah. Because I was at a candle party years ago and um, there was a can, there was a, I was at a candle burning and I said, you know, come up to the table and you can have a touch and feel, just not on me. And yeah. That people laugh. And there was a lady there, she had this beautiful blonde hair and it was all puffed up and she's a friend of mine as well. Anyway, she leaned over the candle and honest to God, poof, her hair just exploded. Oh, no. And she <laughs> the hairspray and went, and, you know, we all patted her down <laughs> and we were screaming hysterically. And then after it, we were laughing and we still laugh about it today because I didn't see her. But it was like, it was quite traumatic. It was like that she caught on fire. So that was probably one of my funny stories that ever happened at a kettle party. You shouldn't laugh. <laughs> I use it as an example now, not to lean over to the lean over, yeah. Especially if you've got long hair. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that was one of my funny stories. Yeah, yeah. awesome. Thank you. So uh, my next question is how do you look after yourself? And you're very busy working, obviously. And how do you look after yourself so you keep well and you keep happy? Um, I don't know. I, that's a funny. That's a really funny question because I normally don't actually look after myself that well. Yeah. I've only just started walking, um, exercising, uh, just the last couple of weeks, yeah. and uh, but realistically, I I don't really. I know it sounds terrible. I um, you know, I, I have given up smoking, so oh, yeah. uh, I've been given up for five months. Oh, wow. um, and. Yeah, I, I don't. I can't say I do. I drink. I go out. I um, yeah. I eat bad food. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I do. You sleep enjoy a lot. life. I do sleep a lot. I do. Uh, I have epilepsy, so um, I sleep about ten hours a day. Yeah. So uh, yeah, that's probably about it, really. Yeah, sleeping is uh, the best form of meditation. Yeah. Some people said so. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> and you have time for it, so that's good. Oh, wonderful. And how do you look after your um, relationship? Because you're married, uh, yeah? Yeah, yeah, to yeah. Andrew. We've, we've been married uh, 10 years, been together 15. He was actually my first ever boyfriend when I was uh, growing up. Oh, so wow. and then, uh, we sort of went our own ways. He got married and had a couple of kids and then yeah. um, I went off wherever I went and then we got yeah. back together. So, yeah. um, But I think our relationship is uh, pretty good because – he sort of lets me have my time and, and I let him have his with golf and I never question him playing golf all the time. And I think with my business work and weekends, um, yeah, and I don't know, we just we just gel. I think we just have our own times a lot and that's a really great thing. We're never, I'm never jealous of what he's going to play golf or, yeah. and he's not jealous of my friendships with all my candle friends as well. So yeah. he is quite a loner. So okay. uh, he does, spends a fair bit of family time. So, yeah, that's we just get on well, that's all. Oh, wonderful. So you're respecting each other's space and time. Yeah. Oh, he likes beer too. So as long yeah. as he's got beer, he's right. <laughs> got to know your soft, soft spot. 
<laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Great. And um, my last question would be, what is your advice for others to look after themselves better? Um, I think find a job that you love. Like I have to say mm. sometimes everyone says, you know, you must love it. And I, I just love party life. I love my business yeah. and I love my team of girls. So, yeah. And I know they say try and find a job that you love, but sometimes – People are too enthralled in doing something that they don't like. Yeah. So maybe that's my only thing. And and look after your mum. Always look after your mum. <laughs> that's always. Um, I just think they're, they're two of my biggest things. Look after. Just find a job that you love. Yeah. That's main, main advice. What was the other thing that you said then, Jimmy? What was the other question? Uh, no, that's it. Yes. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah. Uh, because I guess um, do what you love because we spend so much time um, working in our lives. So uh, you yeah. better find some something that you love. Yes. And I, I think um, with what I've done, though, I, look, I'm not saying that I haven't thought about going back to normal work, but then I realised, oh, my God, I love, I love doing candle parties. Yeah. And I like staying home. And, and my husband's on night shift, so we yeah. get to, we're home together now and yeah. he goes at one and then... I get the nights and then I actually get to spend time with my mum who's, who's quite ill. So, yeah, um, yeah, it's, yeah it's, it, it works around my life. Wonderful. Great. That's great. Well, thank you so much, Colleen, for answering all the questions. I'm sure you inspire some people out there. Oh, I hope so. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> so wishing you all the best and keep well. Um, and we chat uh, another time soon. Thanks, Ingrid. Right. It was lovely talking to you. Thanks for interviewing me. Thank, Thank you. you. See ya. Bye. Bye.